Axie Infinity. You ever heard of it? Oh. No? Axiom? No, Axie Infinity is a play to earn game. No, I haven't. You'd probably be interested. Um, let me see if I can get a definition. It's a, a play to earn game, meaning um, it's an NFT based video game. It's a uses an Ethereum based currency. Have you seen the currency AXS? Yes. AXS is Axie Infinity. This is so cute. It looks like Maple Story. Uh, so people pl be playing that, right? And uh, a big thing for play to earn, uh, which is which is basically NFT based video games online, which is also some some are decentralized, I think, but some aren't. Um, but just generally, play to earn. I think a lot of other countries are playing these games, and they get these cryptocurrencies, and they're able to earn more uh, value with currencies than like other laborious jobs. So a lot of companies are going like not companies, countries, citizens and countries are using play to earn games as like a generation of wealth more so they can do before, uh, which is something. But Axie Infinity is one of the popular ones. Um, I remember when I was first getting acclimated to Ethereum stuff. Uh, I think I was on like an Ethereum Reddit. This is probably just at the beginning of freaking 2021, dude. Um, and I remember seeing a couple of things and it was like Ethereum based gaming. And if, if I had played any of those, it would have been a, a nice thing <laughs> for my future. But Axie Infinity is one of the popular games. This tweet says it's on track to get 2.7 billion in annualized revenue without an ad platform and 2 million daily average users, I believe DAU means. And Snapchat has 308 million daily average users and will be 4 billion revenue. So 2.7 billion revenue with 2 million players, users Damn. versus Snapchat, 4 billion, 308 users. Could be a, a, I don't know, the geographic users of Snapchat. I don't know if it's worldwide. Um, but that's an interesting stat that I saw. Fucking Ethereum. What yeah. a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I'll always be able to say I heard about crypto in college. <laughs> well, really before. But so it's like Facebook internet in, in internet in college. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Facebook came out when I was in college. So one like, day yeah, I was yeah, just I gonna be so old. We'd be like, damn, we're like, damn, that long. People won't know it as Facebook anymore. Facebook the app will probably be dead. What was life like before the metaverse? Like, how do people work? Are you asking? No, that's what people okay. will ask. Because right. now I'm asking how do people my like superiors, yo, how did you get anything done before the internet in this fucking office? File cabinets. Yeah. Like, what the hell, dude? It's disgusting. Yeah. So, so yeah, I don't know. World worked before. I don't know. I need to quit my job. I need to do something. They're gonna move me. I think they're gonna move me. What do you mean? So, so they're gonna move me to a new location, and I'm not uh -uh. about it. The great, the great, uh, the great resignation hits another it, hits another local government business. I might, it might, but like, oh, fuck. It's not. Dude, I, I should just do it, dude. I'm not even making that much money there. It'll, it would be so easy to make the amount of money there I make per month somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it, you, you, like, I've said it on the podcast before, but you can easily find a remote job that gives you more money. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to be like, yeah, sorry, bro. I was only here for the healthcare, but I think I'll be fine. Will that eventually ruin a middle class labor economy? Yeah. But you know. Here's the thing, though, like I fucking I get paid not that much, but I, I can't really ask for a raise because I don't really do anything. That too. Uh, I, I I've um, I've seen and, and it's kind of less for like people who are like super specialized in code. Like if you're specialized in code or you like in some salary position that you get like over 150 K, you probably have a very good like stake in that company, you know, like they probably miss you. But 
it's a lot easier for people to get a raise by leaving their job and going somewhere else. Especially if you already have like an offer, like, yo, yeah, they're paying me. They're offering this much. What are you going to do about it? It's, it's very hard for incumbent companies, especially when you're not just a super, super valuable part of that company um, it, for them to give you a raise. But you, you could probably do that same value at another employer for like 20K more. You said it's hard for them to not give you a raise? A company that uh, an employee is at, it's, it's a lot f- more friction to give people a raise. Like it's, it's hard if I was employed by a company, I was getting like, like 80K. And I was like, yo, can I get a $20,000 raise? They'd probably be like, probably not, dude. And then if I apply for another job, I will easily find a, a, a bigger pay than someone else at that incumbent company will give me. Yeah, I would I wouldn't even ask for a raise unless I had a backup. Honestly. <laughs> or unless I had like proof like, yo, I've made you this much money. Well that's myself. also the thing. That's also the thing I advise I have been told that and I advise anybody to understand the metrics of really what what you're making that company because without that you, you, it's you can't get a raise <laughs> like if unless you can be like yo I'm, I'm making this specific amount of money with my specific tools that i'm lending to you for my time damn i wish i had known that when i worked at the microphone store what i'm, I'm making you this much money i was getting paid peanuts and i was making that guy so much money the margins are also a thing. <laughs> but he owned all the equipment. Oh, really? And the building. Hey, good job. Yeah. Good. So, and I'm just like, dude, like, the, you're only making this money because of my fucking sound engineering skills. Yeah. Dude. So, why am I getting paid $14 an hour? Yeah. The, uh, dang, yeah. That's, that's interesting for a, a, uh, a, a business with high margins. Being like, yo, I'm making you a lot of money. Yeah. It it could be like well, the value that your of your work is not that margin based, you know. Not that margin based, bro. I was making him like 50k a month, dude. But what I'm saying is is the the margin that he's getting equal to like a 50k a month job like were you doing 50k worth it's all value based, but of of a job every day. So Was I doing fifty k worth of a job every day? Yeah, like you're, the skills that you're bringing. No, not every day, but on the days I was, mm-hmm. when I had to set up events mm-hmm. for like big ass parties in Beverly Hills. Oh yeah, yeah. I was getting like, way like, underpaid. Yeah. This yeah, yeah. So then you're basically an event coordinator slash audio engineer. <laughs> And you're yeah, like, right, like, I could go like somewhere a, else. It's like a tw- at least a twenty-one dollar an hour job. <laughs> you're like, I go somewhere else right now, my guy. Yeah, like, I'm out. Like, but there's you, no reason why I had to have two jobs there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, my advice is always know the metrics of the revenue you're creating for a company, um, because then you know where you're at, dude. Maybe you know the metrics and the and the stuff you're getting paid is like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm definitely not making this in revenue for this company but they're paying me probably more than what I'm giving them. So, or you're saying the work I do brings in so much money for this company. I can be like, Hey, what's going on here, guys? What's up? I leave, you lose 500 K. You're going to, you're going to give me 30 K a year. Assholes. Yeah. Well, my job is like most of the time I'm not worth the money, Mm -hmm. but when I'm needed, I'm worth the money because like a think, lot of money's you, on the line. Uh, do you, you think that finding someone else would be cumbersome enough for them to give you more money for your time? Just the fact that, well, it's different. <clears throat> it's different because it's not a company. It's the city government. But would it be more cumbersome for them to find a replacement than just to give you like, yes, what? Not to find, but to hire, to bring on board. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people would apply, but that pro- that's like a six month process. 
It's such a bitch. So here, listen up here, Terry. I'm out of here, right? I'm out. Bro, I, think, <laughs> I think I fucking uh got Zach a job like oh, back yeah. in July, dude. It's November. He's still fucking waiting. What do you so mean? They they have to like fucking like go through your background and like take your fingerprints. Like a oh really? It's a whole bullshit. It's bullshit. 